Mr. Speaker, sir, that very day, I was in Dapchi. I left Dapchi 7 a.m. in the morning to Lagos. Immediately, around 6.30 to 7, when I landed in Lagos, I switched on my phone. A lot of calls are coming that Dapchi is under the attack by the Boko Haram. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to remember this is the first time happening in Dapchi. Dapchi is one of the center of the local government, leading to about eight local governments in the states. Unfortunately, before this incident happened, there is a military presence in that local government. In fact, I directed by the local government, in fact, they built about four to five bedrooms to the military operation there because their checkpoint is just opposite my house. So we don't know the reason by like one week ago <coughs> to this incident, they took away all the military present in Dapchi. We asked this question, why this happened? Because we have only this local government is the one, we have a very big bridge that leading to about eight local governments. So the presence of the military in that local government is very, very important. And also we have a, 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 a girls' school. They have about 900 plus students. So there is no reason the military, you know, evacuates the, 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 the presence of the military in that local government. We don't know. But we complain. Our local government chairman wrote complain, and including the governor himself, he complained that there is no need for us for now to withdraw a military in that area. Unfortunately, a one week withdrawal by, of the military, so they came in number, they came with about 10 vehicles, four wheel drives, two Tata. They stationed two vehicle in front of my house, they stationed two vehicle in front of police station, they stationed two vehicle in front of uh, general hospital, uh, that's uh, inside the town, they separated the four into the town. So in fact what happened was that day, when the incident happened, there is crowd, gun shoot and so on. They, stationed, well, they, they, they came to that school, they entered. When the students are coming out or going uh, running into the bush, they are saying, no, 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 don't run, don't go anywhere, we will save you, we are the military. Come into our car. This is the way they get all this number of the students. So, Mr. Speaker, I know this house is a last hope of this masses of this country. I brought this issue to you, please uh, intervene and talk to the government Talk to the security agency, please. We are begging because the parents are crying. Some of them collapsed. Some of them, up to now, none of them are eating food. So we are begging them. We are just preaching them and so on. So please, we are feeling this house to please intervene and talk to the federal government and the relevant organization to rescue those people. And lastly, Mr. Speaker, sir, when the committee are going, because we have the information right now, those girls are within the Yobe states. They have never pushed them to anywhere on Niger or Borno because we have a very big forest between Yobe and Borno. According to information, individual information that we are getting, though up to now those girls are there inside. And the military are aware. It's just like Sambisa now. It's just a matter of work for them to go to that place and uh, rescue the children. That is the only. So I submit my certificate. Thank you very much for this. Talk. Well, um, Honorable Goni, in the course of your presentation, you raised a very important point that I want you to confirm because um, we don't want us to speculate on the issues of security. You did say that. Um, there was no military presence there for close to a week before the operation took place and that complaints were met. But I don't know to whom 
uh, were these complaints directed? And is it actually true that that was the position? Because the withdrawal of the military ought to have raised a red flag. Why is it that people didn't notice that? Can you speak through the mic, please? We reported that information to the, the, the officer concerned because the state was, you know, they, like divided into three, about three operations. We are under Gaidam, is one of my local government. That very day, my local government chairman reported to that GOC, why did you, you know, evacuate this military present in that local government? He asked this question. And also, the chairman has reported to the, uh, the, the security and cabinet of the state. And they reported to the governor, and the governor has already reported to the chief of army staff that this is what is going on for now. There is no reason to you know, evacuate military presence in your state. He has made that complaint.